Hi boys and girls. We're starting a brand new math packet. Uh, so it should be in your yellow folder. If not, ask mommy and daddy for it. They might have stuck it off to the side. Uh, it is chapter six and it is subtraction. Now right now you might you may not know what subtraction is, but you will pretty soon, okay? So what I wanna show you before we get into that packet is um, I put my tin frame here on my cookie sheet, okay? Cause I have a magnetic one. And so when, we're, when we were doing addition over the last couple weeks, this is really easy to see an addition problem, isn't it? I've got one, two, three, four, five red plus one, two yellow equals five, six, seven. So if I was gonna write that down here, five plus two equals seven. So when I do take away, take away is the opposite. Takeaway is, I'm gonna start with how many are there all together, boys and girls, okay? All together, there's seven. So if I do takeaway, let's say I have seven, and then I take these two away. Now how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let me go ahead and do that again. Let's just do it, make a different one. Oops, I'm gonna turn, put these on yellow. Okay, so we have five red at the top. This time let's put one, two, three, four, five yellow at the bottom, okay? So if I do addition, I think I'll go ahead and write it. I can write on my cookie sheet with my, um, with my marker. Okay, I've got five red plus five yellow equals 10 all together. And takeaway is the opposite. Takeaway, we're gonna start with the big number. We're gonna start with the total. So all together, there are 10. And when we take away or subtract, let's take all the yellow ones off. Let's take away one, two, three, four, five, five. 10 take away five equals one, two, three, four, five. So take away is the opposite of addition. Five plus five equals 10 or 10 take away five equals five, okay? Um, what I'll do is we will go over that again. In fact, I think we're gonna do that on Zoom. But right now, we're gonna start with the first couple of pages. Oops, I better put that away because that's gonna fall off. Okay, so we don't need the first few pages. There's an index, there's, um, there's a little review in there, there's some vocabulary words. I'm gonna go ahead and just tear out those first few pages. And if you wanna keep them, if you wanna do this for a review, you are welcome to do that. You are welcome to cut these out. The vocabulary word says add, fewer is equal to, minus, pairs, plus, subtract, zero. Those are all just vocabulary words that we're gonna be using <coughs> over the next couple of weeks when we are doing subtraction. But you know what? I, you do not need to like, uh, memorize those or learn how to spell them or anything because I would rather you work on your regular sight words than that. Okay, we're going to do the first couple of pages. We're going to start out just like we did with addition. They're going to give us lots of pictures to tell a little story, okay? So if you look at this picture, I've got one, two, three kids all together in this classroom. It looks like maybe all three of them were working out at this table, but now this little boy, it looks like he's walking away. We don't know where he's going. Maybe he has to go use the restroom. Maybe he's going to get a drink, but he's not coming towards the kids. He's walking away, you can see. So it says down here, there were three children. We're gonna take one away, and then we're gonna have two left, okay? So you just can uh, trace over those numbers. Three take away one equals two. And if you want to, you could even X him out because he is going away. So on the first page, all you have to do is tell a little story about the picture that you see. Okay, let's look on this page. Okay, now if we were doing this together in the classroom, I would call on kids and they would tell their own little story. Well, it looks like they're at the lunch table now. Okay, well, all together, it looked like there were one, two, three, four children eating lunch, and I think there were all four sitting down at this table. But these two are going away. They probably finished their lunch and they're gonna go throw, uh, throw away their trash and put their trays away. So we had one, two, three, four. And how many kids are walking away, boys and girls? One, two, these two are walking away. 
So if those two walk away from the table, how many kids are, are still at the table? How many kids are left? One, two. If you want to, just feel free. You can, act, you can put an X on these two. They're going away. They're the ones we're taking away. And there are two left. And if you want to, you can even circle the two that are left. It's hard to see, but I X these two out. They're going away. We're taking them away. And we have two left. Okay. So the first day we do this, we're not using our symbols. We'll probably be using our symbol tomorrow. Um, we're just using the words take away. Okay, now in this one we have to do the whole thing. We have to write all the numbers. Now the hardest part about subtraction is you have to remember you're starting with the total. You're starting with all together. All together, how many kids were sitting on the floor? How many kids were playing? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I think she was playing, but now she's getting up to go, right? We have to start with the total. So start with the big number first. There were five children playing on the floor. Okay, how many are going away? One. So we're going to take her away. I can even put a big X on her, right? And then how many are left? One, two, three, four. Once she walks away, once she walks away, then there'll be four left. Okay, all right, let's see what's on the back of this. The back is always a story problem. It says, Blair has two marbles. His friend takes one marble from him. Draw to show subtraction and write the numbers. Okay, so Blair has two marbles. I'm gonna go ahead and draw them. Marbles are just circles. Okay, he has two marbles. And then it says, sorry, oh, his friend takes one marble from him. So take away one. Okay, so I drew the picture. These are my two marbles. His friend's gonna take one away. I'm gonna go ahead and X that out. So if his friend takes one away, how many are left? One, well, you're gonna write that number down here. Write the number that shows how many marbles Blair has now. He just has one left because we took this one away. His friend took it away. Oh, that was easy, huh? That's not gonna take you very long, boys and girls. Um, but I think that's all we'll do today. And then we'll go on and do some more subtraction tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.